If you never had an anxiety attack, you won't know what it's like. But if you do, you'd recognize this. You can't breathe and you want to run away, but there's nowhere to ride. There's nowhere to run because you're taking yourself with you. Your body, you might feel shaky in your arms. Your heart wants to beat out of your chest. You've, you might have like hot sweats or cold sweats and there's nowhere to go and you just feel stuck in that moment. Does that sound familiar? In this video, I'll show you three easy to apply mind tricks that will change your life. My name is Suzanne McAllister. I'm a licensed therapist and coach and I help ambitious women to get the life and business of their dreams. So that they can stop the overthinking, the anxious thinking, they can stop all the overs, the overwhelm, the overs that we do because we overthink like overeating and over drinking and over stressing and I resolve, I help them to identify the blocks that are in the subconscious so they don't even know and then I help them to resolve the blocks to become unstoppable which is the name of my coaching program so they can spend more time doing the things they really want to do spend time with their family build a business be successful in their work because often they're high functioning and they're out there but on the inside you're crippled with anxiety all right so this isn't it so at the right place here keep watching please hit the little bell and subscribe so you never miss my weekly content and um, I also have like a free video series on my website so you can go on there as well. So if you find yourself completely overwhelmed and in need of fast acting ways to calm down from anxiety, don't worry. Here come my three tricks that really help me. And I'm the expert on this because I discovered I have anxiety when I started to study psychotherapy many, many, many years ago. I thought everybody's mind was like this. All right, first thing, grounding. So. If you can't walk outside, shoes off and put your feet on the ground wherever you are. If you can't do this, wiggle in your shoes. Wiggle in your shoes if you can. Feel your body. Like do this body scan and actually check in what is going on because when we're anxious, we're everywhere but in our bodies. Our body is our bio sensor, our bio feedback. And the second one is naming the feeling like a scientist without judging yourself. You can say, and then you can do something about it when you realize. For example, it's like, my chest feels so tight, I can't, I can't breathe. So if it feels tight, you can roll your shoulders back because they'll be hunched up. You can open your chest and expand it. And you feel when you have an anxiety attack that your breathing probably is just here. You feel my breathing is shallow. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna open my I'm going to drop my shoulders down. I'm going to open my heart. If your arms are shaking, shake them even more. Shake it out. Let the body move. Somatic movement. Move your body. Best thing you can do. Even if you have to lock yourself in the toilet away from the kids in your, at your business. In, if you have to go wherever you need to go in the car. Like seriously, shaking it out and moving it out is the thing to do. Naming it doing something about it, whatever comes up, even talking to your heart, even talking to saying, oh, my stomach feels like I have this block of cement in my stomach. And then you can put your hand on it and say, I've got you, I've got you. What do you want to tell me? And a thought might come up and it might be, oh, I, I don't feel safe with that person or that person might say something. And then you're like, okay, you're safe. Even if that person says something or thinks something, you've got your own back. You've got your own back. You've got these resources. You've got this. Okay. So you can do this. And the third thing is to find an anchor thought, which means, and I connect this with a touch of the body. So I actually put my fingers together like this because I can do this in a meeting. I can do this anywhere I like. So I put my fingers together and I go in my mind to a place that I love. For me, that's an Irish forest in Ross Trevor that I love so much. A place where I feel safe and happy and comfortable. For many of my clients, that's actually their bedroom because that's their cave. They feel safe and they're like, I'm in my bed. Okay, which is perfect. So me, I'm in Ross Trevor. 
I'm in this beautiful county down Irish forest, you know, like I live on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, which is amazing. And we've got amazing rainforest, but there's nothing like an Irish forest, right? So I'm there and then I connect to my senses. I go back to what does it smell like? And I'll press my fingers together because I'm anchoring this in, smelling the moment. I'm like, wow. That would have, that smells amazing, this Irish forest. And I see it and I smell it in my mind's eyes. I connect to all the 50 shades of green, not gray. What would it sound like? There would be birds singing and the rustling of the wind. I would feel the temperature, the wind and the sun, and it's my perfect temperature. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. And it smells amazing of, of moss and green and of island. So I have that and then I smile to myself and then I repeat all of these things until I feel better. So I anchor, anchor this in and there I am. And that always, always helps me. So this is what I'll do. So number one, grounding. So take your shoes off, on feet on the ground if you can, go for a walk. The other thing is really wiggling your toes in your shoes bringing your attention to your body and then letting your attention go up into your body. Number two is then when your focus is on your body, you're naming the feeling, what is going on. And then you're doing something about, it. as I said, dropping the shoulders, expanding your chest, breathing in more. And you know, what drives people crazy about the just breathe. We all hate that. Everybody that has anxiety, if somebody says to us, just breathe, it's the worst thing you can do. We all know we should breathe and we do breathe, but it's the thing we're like, let's breathe deeply so that we can feel better. So finding the breath, talking to your body. What are you telling me? What is that feeling in my chest? What is my heart telling me? Why does my heart not feel safe right here, right now? What is going on? What can I do to feel safer? And number three is anchoring, the anchoring thoughts in your mind's eye, going to the safe place and connecting to all the senses, smelling the moment, smelling the forest, smelling the beach, <sighs> smiling to yourself, that safe place. If you're in your bed, smelling fresh sheets, and sensing the fresh sheets on your body while you're like in your bed. So a part of you is actually feel safe because you're there right now. And the other part is still here dealing with the situation. So the self-talk is important as well. Like what can you say to yourself to make you feel safe in that moment? So these three mind tricks will really make you feel safe, make you feel better, make you feel that everything is going to be okay. Because the thought is though, with anxiety, just means that at the moment, you feel you don't have the tools to deal with that moment. But if you bring these tools in, then you know that you can deal with it. And life throws stuff at you, and it always will. So it's about having the, t the tools and the techniques to um, really deal with them, deal with them in a way that you feel happy and that you feel safe. Okay, go to my website, suzannemcallister.com, subscribe and hit the bell. And if you feel like you want to share this video, you can do that as well. Did I give you too much homework? Too much, right. Okay, so I see you next week. Um, thank you so much. And things can't change until you face them. We can't run away from ourselves. We take ourselves with us. Believe me, I've tried this many, many, many times. When I sit here and I have an anxiety attack, I can't, we can't run away from ourselves. And the over things that we do where we then overthink or we overeat or we overdrink or we feel overwhelmed or we overdo. So in the doing like this addiction to do something, constantly do something, distract ourselves, that we're not alone with ourselves, that we're not alone with our anxiety. That is actually the part where we need to like stop and we need to use these techniques. Sometimes it's very hard because we don't actually know where the blocks come from. We don't know where the anxiety comes from. 
And often they're caused by trauma and it can be a small trauma that you don't even remember. Then you need an expert to help you through. So if you want to know more, go to my website, get in touch with me. And um, I have two more spots available in, the, um, in April um, to be filled with my coaching program. But otherwise, keep watching, keep subscribing. There are some awesome tips for me every week. And if you get onto my email list, there are things that I share with the people on my list that I just don't have the time here to talk about as well. All right, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good week. And um, if nothing changes, nothing changes. But if you change, then everything changes. All right, have a beautiful day.